engaged to see in this 14th video instalment the temperate water inhabitants, the giant cuttlefish, silver drummer, yellow tail scad, and their antithesis, the tropical species that have moved southward, the clown triggerfish, starry pufferfish, and stars and stripes pufferfish. They have combined along with others to form the rich diversity in this fascinating habitat that is Cabbage Tree Bay. Clown triggerfish, an iconic species of the tropical coral reefs, is also a markedly territorial species. If it wasn't out in the open, near this vertical wall, I would invariably find it in the same horizontal crevice in that vertical wall. Unlike some bony fish, cuttlefish do not have a swim bladder, but rather regulate their position in the water column by using their cuttle. The cuttle has an internal porous structure, which the cuttlefish can regulate buoyancy by changing the internal gas to water ratio. Master of camouflage. Interesting is its shape and skin textural changes to morph into the background kelp. A clever behavioural and physiological adaptation. As the cuttlefish's eye composition has no colour receptors, they cannot detect colour, but they are very good at matching the light, dark and texture of their background environment. Their main predators, sharks, dolphins and seals, also do not have colour perception. So this may not be a big issue for them. This does though resolve the cuttlefish's colour paradox. Responsible for the colour 
and pattern changes are neuronal activated chromatophores orchestrated by muscles and containing hundreds of thousands of pigment granules can have up to 200 chromatophores per square millimeter. Light absorption and reflection determines color as the chromatophores muscularly contract, changing translucency, opacity and reflectivity. Deeper pigment cells composed of crystalline guanine diffract light to form the iridescent colors with a metallic sheen. Cuttlefish have one of the largest brain to body size of all invertebrates. The same cuttlefish a few minutes later as I dive down to resume videoing it. Mesmerizingly locking tentacles, three giant cuttlefish are encountered. Is this gesture a getting to know you, courtship, a menaza a trawl, or a territorial dispute? Whatever, colour and pattern changes are involved. Generally slow swimmers, the high manoeuvrability of the puffers is due to their use of dorsal, anal and especially pectoral fins. They can be conspicuous in their markings, white spots for example, relying on their high toxicity and displaying it. Their potent toxin, tetradoxin, has been shown to be produced by intestinal bacteria. <laughs> 